we have Minister Jamie Hay. Jesus said unto him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are but not all. Amen. Amen. Yo, man, Jesus just round. He wanted to hum himself. He wanted to wash the disciples' feet. But Peter did not want God to perform a lowly act, act like that. You know, and back in the day, they, they felt that was for a servant to do. But key verse, though, was when he told Peter that I'm not going to have nothing to do with you. So Peter had to prioritize. Peter had to make a decision. Peter had to think what he was saying and what he was doing because he wanted to be with God. So Peter had to change all that. Say, so you can you can wash my hands, you can just wash my feet. Come on, come on.
mess situation. Had a good job, lost a good job. God brought me down to nothing. But until I got myself together and living with God, that's when he brought me another good job back. But now I just give God thanks, the praise, and the glory. And as I close, purge, purge, purge.
next candidate speaker is none other than Prophetess Kalima Harris. Yeah. 
1 Timothy 3 and 16. First Timothy 3 and 16. Okay. I, I, I love this verse. I should have knew that first when I was a little boy. <laughs> and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preaches unto the Gentiles, yeah. believe on in the world, receive up into glory. But uh, what I was um, saying that God was on the floor coming down. And they saved my life because I was hated. I was hated to I was hated to hell. And um, thank God for Inside Out Church of Jesus Christ, uh, Bishop Brown and uh, Shepherdess and I came, I kept on, I, when I kept on passing by this church, and the windows are already open, I'm like, ah, yes, sir. I didn't praise the God like that. Yes, sir. I got to get in there, and um, I kept on passing by, and I kept on seeing Shepherd, and I kept on seeing the people just praising God. I'm like, Whoo. And they're on the floor just praising, they're just praising, they're just praising. I said, I, I got to get in that church. Sooner or later, um, I'm one of the um, Kelly, um, was, uh, I was working over there at the store. He said, well, come on to church. And then, um, and I invited someone else and they got the Holy Ghost and, uh, and I got the Holy Ghost and, and I was just, uh, and I said, well, thank God, God was on the floor. They say a hole in the wall. Uh, I'm standing in. I'm standing in this hole in the wall. Uh, and I was uh, thinking about uh, Elder um, um, Evangelist Johnson, and she said to me, she said, uh, "Repent, get baptized, and receive the Holy Ghost." And I said, "Yeah." And she said, "You want all of it?" I said, "Yeah, I want everything." <laughs> You got to come to the altar. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, well, when the preachers and the shepherds and the elders uh, make that altar call, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Just just come on up and God will be on the floor with you. Yeah.